Broadcasting and Cable Magazine. Far less rain coverage during the day today, but sometimes it doesn't take much. Had over an inch of rain across mid city, and that thankfully only led to street flooding. So more of a nuisance flooding than anything else and very isolated as the rest of us didn't see much Some spotty showers across the North Shore and in Mississippi. And earlier today had a few isolated downpours, especially down the bayou for toward the coast. Still a few ongoing thunderstorms here and there. Nothing officially though reported at Kenner and our high hit 93 degrees. So it was a hotter day today and we stayed there for a longer period of time because at least at Kenner didn't have the rain cooled air at least the over the airport had some nearby which did help to knock temperatures into the upper 80s but we certainly stayed hotter for longer today and that is going to be the trend over the next couple of days some breaks in the clouds for a little bit of sunshine still feels like uh, 100 degrees right now with a wind out of the south southwest fairly light at only seven miles an hour so 80s low 90s now earlier today had temperatures Temperatures that were in the upper 70s, low 80s down the bayou because of some ongoing rain. Once that rain clears out, those temperatures kind of rebound very quickly. Down to Terrio, a few spotty showers during the day tomorrow, around 90 degrees. But again, unless your area gets in on the rainfall, highs will stay in the 90s or temperatures will stay in the upper 80s, low 90s for a longer duration. Next couple of days, we're going to be dominated more so by the upper high. But that pattern is not going to hold for very long. We're going to see some changes in the upper pattern, which will lead to a wetter pattern as we head into next week. And still, even with this upper high, there is still plenty of golf moisture and enough instability to get some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Rain coverage the last couple of days was thanks to an upper disturbance. Didn't really have that in our favor today. That may change, though, by next week. So about a 30% chance for a few spotted isolated showers during the day tomorrow. And again, a few isolated downpours can't be ruled out. Kind of the same for Saturday during the day. Then as we get into later Saturday into Sunday, a front is going to be approaching. We'll talk more about the front in just a second, but what we're likely going to see is this little complex of storms kind of moving our way late Saturday night and into early on Sunday. Most of the storms will likely stay more to our north and east, but within some of those storms, we could see some gusty winds, the main threat, and there is a low level threat for some stronger storms. This is really more Saturday night going into early Sunday. Sunday, and then by Sunday and through next week, our rain chances will stay on the higher side. First reason is we are going to see this weak frontal boundary kind of near the coast. That will help our rain coverage over those several days going into next week. On top of that, the upper pattern is going to change where the ridging is going to shift a little bit more to the west. Upper troughing across the east coast and a little weak upper disturbance will likely all help to increase our rain chances. So next week is definitely looking to be a wetter week in terms of the last several days. Now the last couple of days were wetter. We've had a bit of a break, but may not see a complete washout any one day next week, but certainly a wetter trend out in the tropics. Nothing going on. 93 degrees are high tomorrow. Again, rain chances similar for Saturday, then wetter again, not a complete washout, but certainly better rain chances and more of those downpours, which should at least help to keep the temperatures into the upper 80s through most of the week.